Hello friends, this is Muhammad Shakil here and in this tutorial we will see how we can write a factorial program using a for and next loop that we have discussed in the previous tutorial. So open up a notepad file and let's start writing the program. So as I've said before, before we write any program we can use message box start. Now to do the factorial, let's first see what a factorial does. For example, if we input 5, then the program should calculate 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2. That's what exactly the factorial does. So 5 should give an output of 120. So let's just uh, give this inside. A single quotation and let's just save this program and whenever you save as I've said before save it with dot VBFs now go for start so that uh, the first writing it doesn't affect our program as I have uh, started with the single quotation mark. Now let's uh, initiate a variable by pressing or uh, by giving vf equals 1 and let's start the program or let's, let's start the for loop. for i equals 1, 2 so let me get the input so we variable fact equals c integer input box. So this is to get the so what exactly this does is it inputs or it collects the data from the user by uh, giving a message saying that ent enter the value for which the factor will need to be calculated and then it gives to the input box and then the value is converted using a conversion function and then it's stored in the vfac. So now we need to give i equals 1 to vfac step 1 and then vf equals vf multiplied by 1 I'll, I'll explain you this and then put next and then put message box the the factorial value is vf yeah let's just save this program and see if it has any error start and give 5 factorial value is 1, it's wrong. So there is some error. Vf equals Vf multiplied by, it's not 1, it's Vf multiplied by i. Save. Just try running it again. Gives 5, 120. I just tried with a different input, maybe 6, it's 120. So it works. Now let me explain you what exactly I did. Here, as I've explained you half of it, the program, as uh, start and we have uh, the initialization and then we have taken the input as I said and here is it's a little tricky but it's easy so let's just uh, go on with the initial initialization so the initialization was vf equals 1 so now when I give vf equals vf multiplied by i what is the value of vf here the value of vf is 1 and then multiplied by i. What is the value of i? i is also 1. So initially vf gets the value 1. Now as it doesn't go to the exit criteria as our input considering our input is 5 it goes to another cycle. In this cycle i is 2 and vf remains 1. 
So 1 multiplied by 2 and Vf gets the value 2. Now again it goes for the third one. So this time the value of Vf is 2 and the value of uh, i is 3. So 2 multiplied by 3 and it again goes here. So here on the fourth cycle Vf had the value 2 multiplied by 3 and i had the value 4. So 2 by 3 by 4. And now remember that Vf now has the value 2 by 3 by 4. And this time it goes for another cycle and then it gets the value vf equals I mean i equals 5. So i is 5 here and the previous value was 2 by 3 by 4. So 2 by 3 by 4 by 5. So that's the value of vf now and again it goes for another cycle but it says that it is the exit criteria is 5. So beyond 5 it doesn't go another step. So it just asks the program to exit with whatever value vf has at that moment and then VF gets out of the program and it shows the value for the user that's all so this is how a for loop works and uh, this is really helpful when you uh, start up with the uh, scripting VB scripting program in KTV5 I hope you enjoyed if you have any comments just put it below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you thank you so much for watching and stay tuned